Hello! I will be showing you how easy it is to create movable eyes for Crazy Talk Animator using Draw Plus X4 or Draw Plus X5. Please note that the Draw Plus X5 must have the latest patch to version 1202.23 to be able to work correctly. Here we are in Crazy Talk Animator with the comic character Cherry on the screen as an example uh, of the movable eyes. You can see the eyes here. Using the face puppeteering panel we can then make these eyes move around in the eye area. Now this is a type of eye that I will show you how to make using Draw Plus. To create your movable eye, start your Draw Plus application and then select a keyframe animation. Select a medium rectangle which is plenty big enough for most eyes that you have to draw. We now have our work area and our first layer. This first layer will contain the eye opening. For just a basic example, I will use a quick ellipse to draw the eye opening. Now this eye opening can be any, any shape that you wish it to be. You also should make sure that your, your border width is set to zero. You do not need a border here. It will do that in another layer. Move this into the center. Now this is going to be your eye opening and this is going to be the color of the eye opening and I'd prefer something a little bit different than that. Let's move over to something like that. A nice cyan. Now we need to add a second layer. The second layer will contain the pupil, so let's call it pupil. Again I will just select the quick ellipse and draw another ellipse. I will change the color of that to, well, let's make it a dark blue. Okay. And then we'll place that over here and let's make it a little bit bigger than the eye opening. Because what will happen now as the eye moves, this will move around in the eye area like that. So what you want to do is place your pupil in the very center of your eye. Now this pupil can be a bitmap, it can be several objects, it can be basically whatever you want. Here I'm just using a couple of objects. In fact, let me create another one here. I'm going to make this one black. And we'll move that inside of here. And I'll make one other small one which I will make white for the reflection and we'll move that into there also. So now we have our pupil. Now the important thing on this here is that uh, each of these objects has to be named pupil. If you do not name these objects pupil, they will not move. So this layer, pupil layer, all the objects on this layer should be named pupil. That way they will all move together. You don't have to group them or anything, you just have to name them all pupil. Okay, the next step is we have to create a mask layer. So let's add another layer, and we'll call this one Mask. What I typically do here is go back down to the eye opening and make a copy of that eye opening. And paste it onto the Mask level. And I usually change the color just so I know that it's a different layer. This Mask layer will only show through what is colored in. To demonstrate this we will click on the mask button which makes it a mask layer and then we click the lock button and now it masks out anything not within the area that was filled in. This is what your eye will look like. The thing that I'm sure you see missing is the outline. So we have to add one more layer. I usually call this the decor layer which is where you can add the outline and eyelashes or anything else that you wish to embellish the eye with. Again, I would copy 
the eye opening to this layer. So we go down, make a copy of that, and then we'll paste it up on this layer. Now this one, we will make the outline at least two points. Well, let's say 2.5. All right, this is going to be the outline of your eye to make it stand out. You also have to make the fill color transparent. And now you can see it's showing through. I also typically make it a little bit bigger so that it doesn't cover any of the eye below it. And now we have our eye outline. This level also you can add any embellishment, say eyelashes. Let's add a couple eyelashes in here, like so. And there we have our finished eye. Now that we have created our eye, we need to export it into a flash format. You can do this by going to the file, export, export as flash SWF. Pick a directory to save it in, give it a name. We'll call this blue eye and then save it. Now that we've created our new eye, let's try it out. Here we are back in Crazy Talk Animator and we're in composer mode with our character. We will select the eye we wish to change, go to the sprite editor, and this will show all the different eyes for the different facial expressions. You will probably want to create a separate file for each one of these for the different uh, shapes and expressions that are shown here. For this purpose, I will go to the directory where we saved our eye, open that, and just for demonstration, I will replace them all. Like I said, normally you'd have a different one for each. Let's go do the same thing for the other eye. Replace. Replace them all just for demonstration. And there she is with her new eyes. Let's go back to the stage and try them out. We'll update the object on the stage. There she is. We'll select her. Go to the puppeteering. And there's her new eyes moving around in her head. As you can see, it's very easy to make movable eyes for Crazy Talk Animator using Draw Plus. You can make the pupils out of multiple objects, as long as you name them all the same pupil. Or you can use bitmap images or even combinations thereof. You can make any shape, size, color that you wish to use, any type of embellishment such as eyelashes, etc. And that's all there is to it. Let your imagination run wild and have fun with it.